Yo yo, what's up everyone? War Machine here with another video for fire tanking. Recently I posted a video for fire bottle tanking. Today I will be doing a video for regular tanking. There are two ways you can spec for fire tanking. One way is a self healing spec and the other way is known to most as the poor man's eye spec. Alright, the first spec I'm gonna give here is the self healing um, spec. Self healing around. First, I'm gonna go in here to treats and iconic powers. And you get Amazonian deflection, mesmerizing lasso, how that chill, fire moon boom. In the flight section, you want to get supersonic dive bomb. Restrain resistant because it gives you 10% case and wood resistant. And you want to get stun resistant, gives you 10% stun resistance. You could also get dust off, which is optional, depending if you want to use either dust off or fire and balloon and load out as you will see later on in the video all right let me go to the weapons 100 of course or you can choose whatever weapon you like but most tanks use what 100 just because it's quick and good for counters um, it's optional, you could get the, the skill points if you have a lot into the combos or whatever, it's up to you. Um, start points, okay, you want to spec in hybrid, for fire you have to get all the critical healing chance and all the critical healing magnitude maxed out so you actually need 60 skill points in these two trees right here you want to max out health then you want to put the rest in resto you could also put some in dom maybe about five in dom depending on you depending on how much stats you have it's optional. This is how I spec for it. Alright. Go to the loadouts real quick. So you want to use emulation, stoke flames, burn intimation, and golf, backdraft, fire moon bloom. You can switch out for a moon bloom for dust off or Amazon and reflection, depending on what you're using, artifact you're using actually. But this is a load out here, and you could also switch out stoke flames for absorb heat. I will explain that later on in the video. for a boss tanking boss too so. all right let me explain what the moose does Engulf, set the burn PI and activate Fire Soul. Backdrop gives you burst heals. Still flings give you burst heals. But the burning termination gives you healing over time, up to 10 times when the enemy attacks you. Demolition is just self shield. It also acti um, activate burning on enemies, activating the PI. Okay. 
for a moon bloom is a burst healing it's good to use this move with Arabic Gemini as I will show later on in the video how much heals it does you use your burst healing from the Fremo Bloom itself and also from your Eye of Gemini also you get a little um, healing over time This is the white mask I'm going to use. In. Absorption adapter for the weapon mod. For the head, you want to use. Let me switch your head mod. Battle attack, I'm going to switch that one. Let me see. Um, I know I normally have the mods in my inventory, but that's optional if you have a huge inventory like mine switch out this head mod for since I'm using frame of boom I'm gonna put the frame of boom here So let me switch this one real quick. Switch this to flames. Chest hearty. Doesn't really matter what's in the legs. I normally use that when I'm battle tank and restorative flash point, but it doesn't really give you any kind of heals. For the feet you want to use stumbling master and the hands you want to use empowered channeling there's a reason why i use this hand mod i will explain later on in the video why i do it all right give you my current stats 215k health 61k defense 21k restoration 22k dominance combat rating 296 pretty good starts as you can see all right for the artifacts i'll be using City Solar, Eye of Gemini, Mystic Symbols of the Seven, Manacles of Force. Right. Let me show you an example of tanking a boss or a bounty. Alright, for this self healing loadout, you, I'm going to show you how the tank with absorb heat. So you can make use of um, the fire soul mechanic. First, let me um, explain to you what's the fire soul mechanic. Any power, right? For example, innovation stoke flames or engulf that inflicts burning and activates the fire PMI will activate fire soul what is fire soul let me explain to what's that really quick uh, fire Fire Soul gain 30% defense while not blocking as you directly bu damage burning enemies. This bonus increases 
up to a maximum of 50% defense while not blocking. Well, here it doesn't tell you how you can maximize your 50% defense. To get the maximum 50% defense, you gotta get a hit combo of 30. 30 to get maximum defense. That's why I'm gonna show you how to use absorb heat to get that 30 hit combo. You could also do um, weapon taps in between, as I will show later on. Um, as I said earlier, and power and channel is needing. As you can see, well, you can't really see, can you see it here. see what it does okay let me get an next hand mod power channel in. all right this mod affects let me see fire fire okay iconic train absorb heat snuff out so that means you can't really get interrupted while using the mod. As you can see, the mod also gives you a 5% 5 5 defense and toughness. So you gain immunity and you can't get interrupted. The reason why you want to use this mod with Absorb Heat is because Absorb Heat heals you a lot. As I will demonstrate now. The only risk about Absorb Heat is that it's kind of risky because you can't really jump cancel out of it. If you're a really good tank, you gotta know when to use it. But it's just kind of risky because you can't really jump out of it. Let me show you an example right now. Alright, I'm I'm gonna show you an example of getting the hit counter up to 30 so you can maximize your defense up to 50%. Alright, what you will wanna do is start off by freaking burning. the defense is dropping I gotta keep the counter up for the defense to stay high so I can get the max up to 69 I believe 69k so base, base defense is 61 get the head counter as I demonstrate again very hard to perform drop so you gotta keep that hit counter it's very hard to do with fire 
maybe in the next update you know, it'd be easy to do the next update but right now it's very difficult to do it with fire to get like hit to maintain that hit combo opposite theory and more it's very hard but that's just a demonstration for you how you get it up right Alright, here I'll be demonstrating the use of the Gemini with Fragment Boom. Show you the Take a look at Gemini tells me get healing from Fermi. demonstrating the poor man's eye spec for fire attack so first of all you want to go in your treats your weapons when I use one handed I know I just get one skill point I really don't mess with the combo stuff as I said previously before then you want to go in flight you want to get supersonic Dive bomb, extreme resistant, and stun resistant, but it's extra stun resistance, ten percent. And you want to get dust off. I 
iconic power you want to get Amazon Reflection, Mesmerize Lasso, Hard Eye Chill, Primal Bloom. Start points actually. Okay, in the start points you want to go focus hybrid, max so critical healing chance, critical healing magnitude. You want to max uh, max out dominance and max out restoration. There's a reason why you're doing this. This is to make your heels and your shields all stronger. Also, the reason why I do this is because of the artifacts I'm using. Dominance and restoration. I will explain this later on. Alright, so... Current stats. Health of 195k. Um, I'm buff here, so please help. 71k. Restoration 20k. Dominance is 29k. You can see the artifacts I'm using. Velocity factor. Hitting an enemy with a pull grants you on up to seven group members health equal to right now I've got a factor one sixty so I get seventeen point twenty five percent of thirty of seventeen point twenty five percent of dominance and it's effective thirty percent effective in tank my tank rule. If I max it out I get fifty percent effectiveness. So the reason why you want to spec in dumb is the more dumb you get and when you hit the pull it's increase your health. I will show you real quick. My health is 90, 195k. Hit a pull. That's from the benefits of using the refactor. This is the main 
more enemies with it. Defense is down to 71. Okay. Previously, you've seen the defense go up with the mystic. Goes up by 3% for each enemy within 5 yards. This is healing received by 10%. It's a small amount of health based on restriction. Okay. So the more restriction uh, this artifact but benefits you more, you know, it's pretty good for fire. Alright, this is the mods I'm gonna be using. Weapon mod absorption adapter. Superchar dust off. Fortified Assault, Accelerated Stoke Flames, Hardy, Restricted Flashpoint, you really don't need that, Fade the Legs, I'm going to use that shit when I'm battle tanking, Power Channeling, Tumbling Master. Artifact, the last artifact, as I said before, Mystic. And the manacles. You could switch out um, the the last to be factor with the Gemini depending on the situation if you're tanking a boss or if you're not buffing a group, it, it depends. It's up to you, it's all optional. Alright, the loadouts I'm gonna be using Emulation Shield. Stoke Flames, Highlight Shield, Engulf, Backdraft, and Dust Off. I normally switch out the Backdraft here if I'm tanking bosses with Amazonian Reflection, but this is just, you know, it's up to you. It's optional. It depends. You could actually run a 4-4 four, four shield rotation here. Emulation, hard light, Amazon reflect, and you supercharge. That's off. It's up to you. Or you can run a tree, tree rotation, tree shield rotation. It's up to you. All right. Here I'll be demonstrating tanking without the mystic actually. Since I'm not tanking ads, so I'll be using the Gemini. Just switch it out real quick. Uh, this is 
is the poor man's ice pack. Let me retreat in shields and slow out. Okay. Soon as I spawn these spawns, I'm gonna show you guys. In my personal opinion, I think this is the better loadout. Honestly, the poor man ice. Since the shield met in the game change everything, tanking with this method is way better than the healing sp the all healing out loadout, self healing loadout. Just demonstrate how you do this. It's like cycling the shield. That's how you same way you tank with ice. go oh, spawn Right here. The stuff is invisible, but you can see the, the green numbers.
here I'll be demonstrating the poor man's ice tank loadout. Fire running four shields for our game. Emulation, I'm using reflection, hard eye chill, and golf, back draft, that's off. Start off with golf machine. How about you? is just very heavy on the power consumption. The big hit, that's all.
You guys get the idea. Pull my tights on. guys for watching the video see you guys in my next video all right peace